What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here today on Forza Motorsports 7 to talk a little bit about the new SSR season that is going to be kicking off in two weekends from now. So we are staring at an E92 M3 with that SSR door card, TUS Evil Rabbit, User Rule Suspects, Torque Drift, Fanatec, Ogato Gaming, and Sticky Motorsports, and, of course, NRG Innovations. So... I will be competing in the entire third season of SSR this year as a pro driver. I know you, you guys probably watched the one um, the one round I did compete in at uh, Long Beach in my FC, and uh, I did pretty well. Uh, won a couple battles, had a lot of fun. So I was given a chance to compete as a pro driver in this season because they're doing pros and an open class, and the pro drivers have the ability to go for an ESDA license, which is what I'm going for. So we have... I have a couple cars that are built that I'm still debating on which cars I want to run. The rules have been changed a little bit where you can it's still 500 horsepower max, but now there's max tire width of 275s and you have weight restrictions for 255s, 265s and 275s and uh minimum uh the minimum amount of weight the car can be is 2500 pounds. This car is a little bit on the heavier side, not by much, but it's a it's able to run 275s which is what i have on the car i do have a car that's also built on 255s that is actually 25 2500 and like 23 or 35 pounds so it's like 35 pounds just over the minimum weight um so we're going to be testing these here today the first round is at yas marina i'm super excited to be in as a pro driver in the ssr season going to be doing a lot of tandem comps this season we'll be missing round two because of my wedding that will be happening the day before but i will be doing all the other rounds super excited to be uh competing to try and get my uh, esda pro license so we're going to get into it today we're going to go take this e92 out to yas marina do some practice as well as bring out the other car that i have an idea and i kind of want to see what you guys think on which car you think i should drive this season or uh of the two cars that i have i can run both but i'm uh leaning more towards one than the other but i'm curious what you guys think and what you guys think of the two cars that i have chosen so like i said i have chosen the e92 and then i've also chosen another small convertible uh car that is 255 tires so one's v8 the other one's uh, v6 so we're gonna test it have a little fun with it make sure you tap that subscribe button and that like button i do appreciate the support make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter all of which are found in the description box below and uh you guys have been a part of the channel for a long time you guys have know of my uh nostalgia wheel the mint green and nero chrome energy innovations wheel we brought it back out here for today and for a little bit we're gonna run that and just see uh, what we can do with this uh this wheel so like i said i have chosen this car as well as another car so we're gonna rock this car first oh the mint green wheel does feel very good i do uh do miss the wood grain wheel as well i do love my alcatara but this wood grain is definitely a nostalgia to the channel to the rim I started with when I modified my original G920 so the Yas Marina circuit is uh, round one here so a little bit of a take on it um, I will explain it when I do a little bit of a run but we got to heat up the tires first it's definitely a tricky course because you got to use rumble strips and if you're a wheel user rumble strips can sometimes be uh, very bad <laughs> and feel very weird on a wheel so we've tried to get the suspension dialed very softly and uh, be able to handle those bumps very well so we're just gonna run it we're gonna start at the no entry sign and we're gonna do our 50 roll in this e92 we gotta do a 50 roll to the cones power on initiate by the 50 sign it's a little bit too early use that rumble strip kick back the other way we went a little bit too deep there, but then you got to kick it out and try to stay as close as you can to this white line. So that was a very bad first run, but of course, you know, got to get the got to get the bugs worked out on this car. This one is I don't have as much time on this car as I do the other one, but like I said, definitely very excited to be running 
the full um, SSR season this year. Big thank you to the UNK guys giving me the chance to be a pro driver in uh, the SSR season, technically season three, which the uh, other season just ended. The one I did could be one round in at Long Beach. So definitely had a lot of fun doing it. That's why we're doing a full season minus round two. But uh, my wedding's a little more important than a uh, round two of SSR. So we're going to go try to get this one, do this one again. We're going to do our 50 roll. Heavy on power. Initiate it right about that 50. That's a little bit better. Put that rumble strip. A little bit on the brakes. We can run that rumble strip and then we're going to want to kick this as as we can we're supposed to run that inner white line we can drop one tire into the blue i believe so not a bad run so far in this e92 we're gonna do one or two more with this but you will be seeing a lot of practice here in the next next week or two with uh some of the guys from tus as well as some of the guys from the unk i tandem and maybe jsi so definitely a lot of teams that um, I've gotten a chance to drive with recently as well as uh, I think it's BID with uh, a couple of the uh, other guys that I've driven with um, I think it's Brothers in Drift um, definitely cool guys met a lot of cool teams um, and been able to drive with a lot of different people so you know Forza Drifting has definitely become a very big uh, a big thing where a lot of people are uh, you get to meet a lot of people doing this stuff so it's a lot of fun for me so we're gonna do this again Throw the car in. It's a little bit better. Hanging out that angle. That's better through that sweeper. Not as close to the white line as I'd like to be, but we didn't go over the white line. So that's a pretty decent run. So not sure if this, if I do run this car, if this is going to be the livery I run. It's a very just simple livery blue with all my, all my sponsors on there, you know. Elgato Gaming, Siki Motorsports, Energy Innovations, Torque Drift, Fanatec, all of them are on there. And always a big thank you to my supporters of the channel and all the support I get from NRG Innovations and the usual suspects as well. Definitely a very supportive team. So glad to be a part of it. They've helped me out and uh, I've grown tremendously better in drifting having a bunch of good drivers to drive with. So we're gonna run more one more time and then we're gonna switch it up to the other car. Let's see if we can't get a better run. 50 roll of that. On throttle. Kick it in. Kind of straightened out there. Let's see if we can manage to salvage the run. Throw it out there, high angle. You break it in. Uh, uh. We kind of saved it. Clutch kicked it out. Definitely different going from the Alcatara suede wheel to the minty green wood grain wheel. It's definitely nostalgia flowing through this right now because if you guys, like I said, this is the first energy wheel that I got. First energy wheel I put on when energy started joining the channel. So to me, this is just kind of like a, to bring back the memories and the feels of where it all started. So now we are going to go to the other car that I've been thinking about running here for SSR, and that is actually a Fiat. The Fiat 124 Abarth. We are at 499 horsepower, 255s on street, and this car is actually 2,538 pounds. So it's almost the bare minimal allowance for SSR Pro this year. So it is a V6 swap. So it's not the factory motor. I couldn't get enough power out of the factory motor. I could get about 400 horsepower. And I feel I would have been a little bit underpowered compared to some of the other cars I'd be going against. And we're just sending this car. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think I should run the 92? Do you think I should run the Abarth? Because both cars I'm actually quite comfortable in. I do like the E92 a little bit more just because BMW and working for the brand, but this uh, this this Fiat is uh, not a car to be reckoned with. I mean, it is different. Not many people run it. I think uh, 
Ueno runs one, and I think one or two other people run them. But not many people run this car, so we're going to do this one after we heat it up our tires a little bit. Get a 50 roll this. Slam this car in. It's a lot smaller, so the transitions are a little bit snappier. But it is also easier to be a lot twitchier with this car because of the shorter wheelbase. So definitely been uh, out of my comfort zone with new cars and stuff like that. Trying to find a car that I'm really comfortable in. And this car just kind of came out of nowhere and was like, oh, hey, let me try this. And it kind of was, uh, I wouldn't say love at first drift, but I was comfortable with it on a base too. So I dialed the tune a little bit better and decided that it was actually a pretty decent tuned car and uh, it felt pretty good. So now I gotta get some tandems with this car, some tandems with the E92. I also have my FC on backer from last season in SSR. So if I really wanna run that, I can run that still. It's still tuned, still very comfortable. Try this again, flick it in nice and hard. A little bit off of that first Rumble and clip. There we go. Not a bad run, not a high scoring run if this was qualifying, which is one thing they are doing in SSR Pro now is qualifying, which is definitely a cool thing. Because um, before they were doing some bracketry system that I was not really understanding, but that's why I ran a couple battles in the same lobby and then moved on. You know, but they're doing, you know, a 32 bracket this time, so it's definitely a very traditional tandem style. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to do good and uh, maybe get my SSR Pro license. My SSR, I have an SSR Pro. My ESDA license, got SSR on the brain right now. Been going through cars and everything. My ESDA Pro license, and maybe be able to run ESDA Pro next season. Maybe bring that uh, C5 Corvette out actually get a chance to get into into tandem battles because that would be sweet there we go that's a bit better of a run on that sweeper finish it out on the uh, on the rumble strips so like I said make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter all of which are found in the description box below. Let me know down below which car you guys think I should use. Um, we are limited, like I said, to street tires or stock, uh, 500 horsepower max, and minimum weight of 2,500 pounds. So this car is like the lowest end of the spectrum, and the main 92 is on the higher end, but it is on 275s on that V8. Both of them have 499 horses. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys think there's another car I should use, I'd be very curious what cars you guys think I should use based on if you guys have followed the channel for a while. You guys know my style. You guys know what I kind of like. So we're going to give this one more run to end this episode off. So a little quick talk blip today here for you guys on Monday about SSR Pro and the content that will be coming out this season because of it. And I wanted to bring the mint and green Nero Chrome rim back out which I feel like I'm gonna keep on this rig for a little bit Ooh, I am gonna be bringing the G920 back as well here very soon so as always I like thank you guys for watching I'm Evil Rabbit and I will see you guys next time I'm gonna let up.